Aloha YouTube, Chris with Island Tech Productions here and today I'm just gonna do a quick how-to video of how to change a GoPro lens. I'm moving up from a stock GoPro lens which is I think a 12 millimeter equivalent to a 24 millimeter equivalent so um, lens wise uh, it's called I don't know what it is called because I got it from eBay but it's a 16 megapixel 4.4 millimeter lens. The reason why I'm moving up is I have a 3DR solo, I have a GoPro um, but I was really unhappy with the um, the fisheye effect. Anyways, uh, take a look at what I've done. So along the process, you know, I've, I've, I was watching YouTube and basically you kind of remove the outer layer, then you remove this inner grommet, take the pliers because there's glue and you twist it and it the whole thing is supposed to pop off. Well, in this case, um, I guess the glue is a little bit more stronger and well I essentially popped off the I, I, I think it's the the covered lens that broke off and it took me a while to like fidget around to actually remove the um, stock GoPro lens um, and that's basically you, you just uh, pop this cover off and then you install the new one you know you twist off twist on uh, I warn you though when you are putting on the new lens you just want to twist a little bit because the lens will focus almost instantly. You don't have to screw it all the way down. Um, I'll show you at the end how much it sticks out. And it's kind of like what you normally see on other YouTube uh, channels. Okay, so let me finish this up. Okay, so once you're done installing this, don't put all the parts back yet. Um, what I did next was uh, go to my TV and I'm going to show you how I uh, focused. Um, I have a 40 inch TV, nothing too elaborate, shoots 1080p. So um, I just kind of just looked for something that was about 3 to 5 feet away. Double check that a couple times and then look, you know, I looked at my living room to see if the rest is sharp because it is a fixed focus. Then I um, put all the rubber grommets in. For, for me, for safety measure, I just put tape. I've seen people do that that way both internally and externally it doesn't shift especially when it starts vibrating having the adhesive on the outside will help secure everything and then you just put everything back in place I did one final check of the TV uh, making sure that nothing moved and then I buttoned everything up so I finished putting everything together and hopefully that was informative as you can see I kind of squeezed the lens too tight and it popped everything off but when you put everything back together there's just the main difference between the stock GoPro and this main GoPro is that there's a little bit that sticks out the front end but this doesn't affect how it fits in the underwater case it's not snug I mean it's just as snug as how it was so I feel it's not any different uh, I'm gonna take it out for a flight tomorrow Again, um, I was just curious if you made an upgrade, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd like to know what lens that you decide to choose. Like if you enjoyed uh, this video and again, I want to thank you for your support. Click on the button below to subscribe and mahalo plenty.